is a box train. The objective of this box train training are to develop the kinesthetic awareness of converging and diverging, and also to develop the ability to voluntarily converge. This patient is having convergent insufficiency problem and came for convergent vision therapy. In end of the box train is placed on the patient nose, and the other end is put slightly lower. The distance between patient nose with the green bead is 10 cm. The green bead to the yellow bead is 50 cm. The yellow bead to the red bead is 50 cm. Now I'm going to train the ability of your eyes to converge and appreciate physiological dimorphia. Please follow my instruction on which bead to focus at and tell me what have you seen. Okay. Now. Please look at the red bead. Okay. How many beads do you see? I see one red bead. Focusing at the red bead. Now, how many yellow beads have you seen? I see two yellow beads. Still focusing at the red bead. How many green beads have you seen? I can see two green beads. Okay. Still focusing at the red bead. Tell me the separation between the yellow bead or the green bead is larger. The separation of the green bead is larger. Good. This is an A pattern if patient can appreciate physiological dipopia. While focusing at the red bead, the separation between the two green beads are larger than the two yellow beads. If the separation between the two yellow beads and the two green beads are the same, this means that patient converge too much. Now, please focus at the yellow bead. How many of the yellow bead can you see? One. Focusing at the yellow bead, how many of the red bead can you see? Two. Focus. Still focusing at the yellow bead, how many of the green bead can you see? Two. Focusing on the yellow bead, the separation between the red bead or the green bead is big larger. Patient will see an X pattern with the middle of X crossed at the yellow bead where patient is focusing at. Only one yellow bead is seen, while two red beads and two green beads will be seen respectively. The separation between the two red beads and the two green beads should be the same. Patient will see this pattern if she does not have enough divergence. The separation between the two red beads will be smaller than the two green beads. If the separation between the two green beads are smaller than the two red beads, this shows that patient converge too much. Now, please focus at the green bead. How many of the green beads can you see? I can see one green bead. Focusing on the green bead, how many of the yellow beads can you see? Two. Still focusing on the green bead, how many of the red beads can you see? Two. You focusing on the green bead, the separation between the yellow bead or the red bead is larger. The separation of the red bead is larger. Hmm. Patient will see a V pattern while focusing at the green bead. Only one green bead is seen, while two yellow beads and two red beads are seen. The distance between the two red beads should be larger than the distance between the two yellow beads. However, if patient does not have enough divergence, patient will see this pattern. Now, I'm going to train your convergence ability. Please look at the red bit and the yellow bit and the green bit. Please look at the red bit and the yellow bit and the green bit. This cycle is repeated several times to improve her convergence ability. If patient cannot appreciate physiological dipoplea and can only see one string, this means that patient is having suppression on one of her eyes. Patient will see this pattern if suppression is on her right eye. On the other hand, patient will see this pattern if the suppression is on her left eye.
later come back for her follow-up conversion vision therapy at closer distance. The distance between the nose to the green bead is 10 cm. The distance between the green bead to the yellow bead is 25 cm. The distance between the yellow bead to the red bead is 25 cm. Now, I'm going to train the ability of your eyes to converge and appreciate physiological dichotomy. Please follow my instruction on which bit to focus at and tell me what test it is. Okay. Please look at the red bit. How many of the red bit can you see? I can see one red bit. Still focusing on the red bit. How many of the yellow bit can you see? I can see two yellow bit. Still focusing at the red bit. How many of the green bit can you see? I can see two red, uh, green bit. Okay. Here focusing on the red bit, the separation between the yellow bit or the green bit is larger. The separation between the green bit is larger. Now, please focus at the yellow bit. How many of the yellow bit can you see? One. Still focusing on the yellow bit, how many of the red bit can you see? Two. Still focusing at the yellow bit. How many of the green bit can you see? Two. Still focusing on the yellow bit. The separation between the red bit or the green bit is larger. Both are the same. Now, please focus at the green bit. How many of the green bit can you see? One. Focusing at the green bit. How many of the yellow bit can you see? Two. Still focusing at the green bit. How many of the red bit can you see? Two. Still focusing at the green bit. The separation between the yellow bit or the red bit is larger. The separation between the red bit is larger. Now I'm going to train your convergence ability. Please look at the red bit. Now look at the yellow bit. Please look at the green bit. Now please look at the red bit. Please look at the yellow bit. Now please look at the green bit. This cycle is repeat for several times to train her convergence ability at this distance.